All right, so what I want to talk about today is Mara. And what I'm going to do is talk about LA wave theory, the counts that I see, <clears throat> and the two possible outcomes that could come out of this. <clears throat> so first and foremost, let's just make sure that Mara is following LA wave theory. And if we look at the last cycle, it's quite obvious. You can definitely see five wave structures for every wave. So here we have a one, two, three, four, five, and then an ABC correction. And then in this one, usually with wave three, there's five waves within wave three to the larger degree. So what we have here is one, two, three, four, five, wave one, ABC, two, one, two, three, four, five, ABC, one, two, three, four, and then a truncated fifth here, right? And that's five. Then we have an ABC down. I have a one, two, three, four, five for wave five. So in my opinion, I do believe LA wave theory is working on Mara, and we can use it and utilize it for this cycle as well. So uh, the first wave count that I have is more of a short-term response for a bullish outcome. And I think this is the one that everyone's looking for, right? Mara was a leader. Uh, and miners were leaders in the last crypto cycle. And yet, Bitcoin is breaking out new highs, and there's a huge dis uh, discrepancy between Mara's recent all time highs, when Bitcoin was at all time highs, and where it's at currently. You know, it still has a 400% rally from here. The issue is, in my experience, is usually when this happens, it becomes a crowded trade right everyone's starting to panic and realize that they missed out on the crypto rally and what was one of the the retail favorites last cycle mara and miners and i think this could be um a problem on why it hasn't been able to rally as much this cycle so what we can see here is we can see an obvious one two three four five structure right with an abc correction and the question really is are we on wave three to a larger degree or did we already finish a five wave structure right which is the really concerning part so this is the bullish one and then i'll show you the bearish the bearish scenario so with the bullish scenario we would say that this is maybe a wave one a wave two and then remember wave three is much larger with five waves within each one of them so let's say that this is wave three to the larger degree, and then this would be a wave one. I can count one, two, three, four, five, right? ABC structure for wave two. And then this would be wave one of three. Now we're looking for wave two and wave three all the way to, to finish wave three to the higher degree. So if that was the case, we would see a one, two, three, four, five, and then ABC structure here. And in order for this to work, we cannot break below 1450 which is why I wrote here, if we break below this 1450, this area, this um, demand zone, then it would invalidate this theory as a whole. And then the bearish scenario, the, the, the delayed scenario is the more likely outcome. So uh, what we would see here is we would see one, two, three, four, five, ABC correction. And as long as we do not break below 1450, LA wave theory says that we would start wave three of wave three which would then take us up to you know somewhere around 45, get away four down to like 33, and be somewhere between 58 and maybe 68 for wave three. And ultimately, if this plays out, it is very likely for this wave four, come back down and retest wave one, and then be all the way up to wave five, right? Which could be a finishing target of around 130. Now this would be the more short, short term responsive one to where we could see this outcome in the next month, right? But um, unfortunately, with this needing to be an ABC correction, I'm being a little bit pessimistic and scared because I can see a five-way structure down here, which would then give more of a bias for my delayed wave three structure, right? So if we were to think about this, this would be wave one, wave two, wave three to the larger degree, which could take us up to like 140. Um, and then wave four and then wave five, which may be, you know, 170 to 200 uh, in two to three years. <clears throat> so let's say that this is the actual um, wave count that we're looking at. So let's go ahead and, and try it this time. See, what I'm a little worried about is 
this is a wave one, this is a wave two, this is a wave three, this is a wave four, this is a wave five. So technically this could be a wave one finished compared to, I was considering this a wave one and this starting wave three. But if this was a wave one all the way up here, then we would get an ABC correction and then usually wave two can retrace actually all the way to 100%, but typically it's between the around the 61% retracement. And if we were to, what in the world? Okay. All right, I don't know what's going on there. Um, if it was a 56 to 61% retracement, it would be around $9. And this is why I think that this play might actually be the play. The reason being is, once again, on a psychological level, it's, I, I'm pretty sure it's a crowded trade right now. You know, we have a lot of retail looking at it. Every furu on, on Twitter is talking about it's the next thing that's going to rally, and yet it's not, right? <clears throat> now, um, based on LA wave theory, wave A can be a three-wave structure or a five-wave structure. And unfortunately, what's really got me convinced that this is the one that might play out is I can see a clear five wave structure, right? And that's not okay. Because what that's telling me is if that's a five wave structure, this is a true ABC correction. Because if that was an ABC, then we're nearing the end of the correction and we should go higher. But this is a five wave correction. What that would say is we'd get a 50 to 61% retracement like this, and it would make a lower low, something of the length of wave one of wave A. So if, if wave C is the length of wave A and we get a 50, percent retracement then we're looking at you know 12 8 to 12 dollars so i think the biggest issue that i'm running into here is i can see a five wave structure and i want to have this bias because i see this five wave structure but um you know you, you don't want to miss the rally either so it's sometimes it's a little bit more important to kind of use this as your baseline you know, if we start breaking below 1450, I'm almost convinced that this is the rally or this is the the, the pattern that's going to play out, which would then send us down another 40 to 60 percent. And I think this would be the play that really screws over retail, right? It's going to stop out early long. So they're going to waste our time all year. And then maybe in Q4 and near the end of the year, they're going to blast off. So I know a lot of people are, are counting on miners to go to the moon, but when we have this type of weakness, um, even though everything else is ramping up, there has to be an answer for it. And sometimes the devil's is in the details and you have to acknowledge that um, it's not participating this time around, right? It's not doing what it did last time. So right now we're starting to break over all the daily moving averages. And if that continues, then uh, we have to be mindful of that. Because if we start basing under all the moving averages, what that's telling us is price action for those many days, the 50-day moving average, the 100-day moving average, the 200-day moving average is below. The price action is below those moving averages, which tells us that most people are underwater. So I know a lot of people are on Twitter screaming that the rally is going to come. I do have a position here. And as long as I see this hold, you know, when we get in this demand zone, this is going to be my risk. I'm, I'm going to enter here, and if we break below 1450, I'm going to cut it. Because, you know, um, even if we rally, it's eventually going to get sold and then make a lower low. So uh, if that's the case, then I would rather not spend the next six months sitting in miners that aren't going to be rallying. I'd rather go find the more uh, strong uh, sympathy place to Bitcoin and try to jump into those on those those dips, you know, ones that are proving themselves, that are giving validity to the, the correlation between themselves and Bitcoin. So something to consider. Um, and let me know what you think.